and your work will document your testimony. What did that mean to you? It meant this. It meant, it, it meant, I, well, first of all, it meant excitement because now I felt like I had a direction. I was just, just being immersed in Jesus, you know, without a direction. You have to have a game plan in life. Where no, my, you know, where there's no vision, my people perish. Yep. So I had my vision now. You know, to be, but I hadn't played in a year, so I was terrible. I had nothing musically happening. So I Could went, you read music? Just really barely. Music. I mean, so I had to start from that standpoint. So I started, and the Lord began, you know, you go line upon line, precept upon precept. And so I started back to school i took some music classes i started taking lessons from this guy you know and little by little by little and then i i found out some great sight reading resources and i started reading ta, 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 <laughs> these little so you simple, really had to do the I work had, this I, wasn't you weren't just gifted to nobody play is. everything nobody is it's 90 percent perspiration one percent inspiration you know what i mean so anyway, but anyway, one thing led to another, to another, to another. And uh, without taking too much time, you know, the, the first major break was getting the opportunity. I'd, it'd be a great story to share with you. I'll tell you after the show or something. But uh, uh, getting the opportunity to become guitarist for Barry. And wow. since he, that was at his, the peak of his career. It's and, Barry Manilow if you're tuning in late. And, uh, <laughs> and, and anyway, and really, I have to say, and I don't mean to spiritualize it, but God really gave me the job. Wow. Uh, yeah. and, and really, you were discovered uh, being a guitar demo guy in a music shop, right? Didn't that, well, that I a, don't know if I was discovered that way. That Given an opportunity to. That, I, w I used to uh, be the, uh, I, I became a guitar salesman by virtue of the fact that I used to come in and play, and I knew the salesman at this store. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if they were demoing an amp or a guitar, they'd say, hey, Jay, come here, come and play. And so I'd play this stuff and say, see, man, it sounds real cool, you know, and they, they could tweak the knobs and stuff and have a, a good guy to demo. And I was starving in those days, and I had no money, no food, no nothing. And uh, so I ended up getting a job at the music store that way. It was fantastic. Well, you know what? This sounds like a song, and I just want to encourage those with a, with a dream. June 1970, you left Wichita, went to L.A. <laughs> with $180 That's right. and a 62 Ford. Doesn't that sound like a song you heard somewhere? <laughs> um, but the rest, the rest, My. you're on over 70 albums. Uh, you've done seven solo albums. Tell us about Cleared for Takeoff. Oh. This is not available in a Christian bookstore. I wish it was, but they don't want it. And, and <laughs> we're gonna see that. you know what? It's instrumental. It's what you're going to hear more of yeah. in a minute. Um, but can, may I read your liner? I, are you kidding? I would love for L you to. Listen to the liner Because note that's what the title of the song is about. It's called Cleared for cleared Takeoff. Cleared for Takeoff. But what does Cleared for Takeoff really mean? And here's what it really means. When a pilot receives the words Cleared for Takeoff from the tower, those words imply many things. From the controller's side, there's the belief that all of the aircraft's systems have been thoroughly checked out by the pilot, ensuring a safe journey. From the pilot's side, there's the belief that the tower has checked out many other factors that are beyond the pilot's ability to analyze. Based upon the good faith of both parties, the controller grants conditional approval for departure. From the eternal perspective, God is the voice in the tower. Heaven is the destination. Earth provides the path we choose for the runway. Our life is the aircraft and our heart is our pilot. If our pilot will simply choose heaven as the destination, the controller will provide a new flight plan guaranteeing safe arrival. As we put our trust in that voice from the tower, we can truly be cleared for takeoff to a hope and destiny beyond our grandest imagination. Exactly. Wow. Everyone who picks up these great tunes and iTunes or www.jleach.com and they are picking it up. They've been picking it up like crazy. They're getting this message. You are an unashamed. Out of the closet. Out of the closet. Uh, yeah. Christian. <laughs> yeah. Do they but treat you well at Idol? 
They know who you oh. are. They know what you are. <laughs> they know who I am. What's your name again? <laughs> 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 oh, it's wonderful. It, it, it's just the greatest, the greatest blessing to work with. Truly, some of the Earth's greatest musicians on that show. And, and the entire environment is just, you know, totally professional. Ricky Miner's the leader. Uh, Paul Jackson Jr. is the, the regular guitar player for the show. And, and it's just a, a magnificent, uh, and we just have a lot of joking and laughing. Oh, fun you too. brought so much joy to us today. Quickly as you go, Viva Allegra means? Means live life to its fullest. And that's a great send-off message. Jay, I hope you'll come back. 